evening everyone thank you for joining me today again it is sunday yay another day for card making 101 for beginners and just a quick recap for the last couple of weeks i spoke about embossing folders and i demonstrated um one example and week one was um how i started my card making business so today i am going to be moving on a little further to talk about die cuts so if by the time you have gone through this video and you do like the content please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and if you would like me to expand on anything in relation to die cuts, I would be more than happy to. Um, I also do need to let you know that the apart from embossing folders, there are other types of embossing. I think I will tackle that separately because it's not something I do a lot. Um, so I'm not quite comfortable with it yet for me to be able to talk about it. So um, I am going to just you know get a better feel for it and then I will do it in a separate video so to get started um, die cuts so when I looked up the definition because I always use the die cuts but I never really bothered to even figure out what it really meant other than it was something that cuts so I looked up the definition and it basically says it's the act of using this shape die to cut paper or cardstock and it can be used to design and cut perforated outlines of a shape. It creates exact the exact same dimension um, without using scissors, stencils, or craft knives. And of course, it saves time and makes um, your cut out shapes very professional. And of course, it will be consistent because you will not actually be, you know, like off by an inch here or off by a millimeter here. So in that sense, you actually have, excuse me, have something that helps you to, um, you know, have really professional looking uh, pieces in addition to your card making. So, so far, if you are into card making and you're just starting off, I'm just trying to give you some tidbits and things that you can, um, you know, for the different types of um, accessories you can use for your cards. So let's dig right in. Now, die cuts. I have a whole bunch of die cuts. Um, I don't have um, like any special folders or anything for them. I just kind of stick them in regular um, sandwich bags, really. Um, but I, I put, I do label them, so at least I will be able to have um, know what's in, you know, what's where and what goes in what. So I don't get lose track of them. But at some point, I hope to have some kind of a, a, a system that would allow me to like have them flatly laid out instead of just in sandwich bags. So let me just give you examples of die cuts. Okay. So die cuts, die cuts, die cuts. That's all I can say. All right. So I have a set of die cuts here. Now, as you can see, they have different, you know, different sizes. This works with um, the five and a half by seven um, cards. So basically this outer one would represent the size of the card. And if you want your, your next matte layer to be um, smaller, then the second one actually would give you you know like the the dimensions that will fit perfectly with the initial um die cut so it, it goes down to the smallest portion of it where you can use it to design the card how you wish but this is like a good guide um if you're a, a beginner and just like me you're not familiar with all the eighths and the three fifths and the fourths and all of that that will definitely help you um, I have the one for the 5x7 and I do have the one for the card sizes that I make which is um, five and a half by four and a quarter so again it's similar to the 5x7 um, and you know I just have it there just in case I need it but uh, most times I don't use it okay so that's just for your basic card standard size now 
I have houses and fences. So you could also have die cuts. I mean, there's so many die cuts all over. It's, it's just a lot. There's houses. There is like a lamp, you know, a uh, street lamp. Um, and of course, I have a fence. So this this is, um, you know, uh, one of those die cuts. Then I have Christmas die cuts. So these would have things to do with Christmas, like the wreaths, the, the reindeers. So these are all die cuts. This is a nice reindeer foresty um, thing. These are all just awesome, you know, just to add some extra beauty and give some kind of dimension to your cards. Um, I also you also have wood die cuts too, but I'll, I'll show you those as well. But I have a Merry Christmas um, die cut as well. So there's a these are the Christmas ones. Then you could have I have for men. So for men, I um, which is just a small collection. I have a car. I have a motorbike. I have tools. So what I what I did with those die cuts is that I tried to get those that um, men like more of than anything else. They love tools, they love sports, you know. So I tried to get some basic things that they like. I'm just running through these really quickly. I have butterflies and birds. Now there are all sorts of butterflies. I mean, from you know just a butterfly sitting with its wings closed up to open wings then I have birds I also have a bird on a branch so you know there are different um, types you can have I have the like a bird in flight and then I have a just a plain little butterfly thing so that's that and then there's die cut flowers and leaves and I mean I'm not going to go through everything I'm just kind of giving you ideas so this is just like a whole bunch of leaves so you could cut this whole thing out using your um, the same machine used to emboss is also a die cutting machine and I will also be um, doing a um, during the um, 101 I will be actually doing about uh, talking about the machines so this is a bunch of leaves you could cut it out you could clip it snip it you know and um, add it to your your card however you wish and there are different types because I have this one and I have this one so it's just two different types and from flowers like an example of a flower I have I have like you know just this hair with you know I guess it's a rose but that's one of the things I have. I have some of the flowers in here, but we cannot go through everything. Hearts. Okay. Hearts and other shapes. So I have this. Usually die cuts, with these die cuts, like hearts and these shapes, they come like with graded sizes. So this would be the biggest. And then you have them coming down to the smallest. Likewise, this one. So it just depends on what you want to add. To your card and what sizes and what shapes and things like that I also have a forest sort of scene so this is not a scene sorry a die cut once you cut this out you could cut it off you know and then your background of your card you use you know color however you want to get it done so then once you finish and you cut this out and you put it on the top of the card then you will see the um, the effects of it. I believe I have it. Things on my um, my website. I do have it. You know, as the um, under the mail section uh, for cards, masculine cards. This is also another die cut. This is to give your instead of a usual square frame like this. You could add some kind of pattern to your frame. This is just an example. Um, so that makes it look a lot more attractive um, to the buyer. And then I ha you have banners. You have big banners. You have, I mean, the list is endless. So it's really up to you. You have squares. So, and most of those shapes, like squares, circles, um, 
the oblongs all of those have graded sizes these are like circles circles with uh, scalloped um, straight circle you know I'm not straight circle I mean circle uh, just regular circles that's what I want to say and look at the difference here sorry making a mess of everything okay so this is a oblong circle oblong this is circle with a nice pattern on the edge that's called scallop and this is just your plain circle so you have this variation of circles and i'm sure there are lots of other types of circles and again these usually come with different sizes from large to small so then you can choose how you want to use it um i just got this one this is actually for um you know like you making a card for a newborn baby or congratulations on your baby so this is one i just got i haven't tried it yet i have these as patterns and shapes <sighs> just a lot of them trust me um and you can get collecting quite a bit of them so like just to give you an example i have a unicorn i have a little girl with an umbrella so these I use mainly for children's cards. I even have the I even have the rainbow actually, the rainbow for the um the unicorn. You know, um, what they call it magical. So the thing with the the rainbow. I think I have the rainbow in there somewhere. Yeah, the rainbow. So um, then you have those kinds that are just like a pattern. So with those you run it through on your paper through your your die cut machine and they bring out a pattern so once you print out uh, you have the pattern out you actually just get it to the you know like the center of your card or however you want to place it of course that is another option so there's um there's edging and i'll show you one of the edgings i have or oh, not really edging but you can use it this is another one this is like um you know you cut it out you could you know like use it on the edges of your card you could also use ribbon through it it's just you know depending on what your taste um, is or what you have so if you're someone who may want to look into die cuts you want to just um, be careful because I love die cuts and I go crazy with everything that look like a die cut I wanted so you can just imagine um, this I have both the and words so I have from thank you to happy birthday. I have the individual letters for the words. Um, I have numbers. Uh, what else do I have? A birthday cake. Excuse me. <coughs> Dry throat. Sorry. Let me just get some water. Excuse me. <sighs> that was all right. Then this is just like a love that I haven't used yet. This is, I think this is Happy Valentine's Day. I got it. As a matter of fact, I ordered it and then it came after Valentine's Day. So I never really got to use it. But um, that just goes to show that there's so many die cuts out there. Here is um, balloons. I have an individual and I have a group. So it's really entirely, entirely up to you what you like to work with. This is a love and an arrow. Um... But I wanted to let you know the, the, the different accessories you can use for card making and in that way you can decide, you know, what works best for you. And this, of course, is just like anything to do with C. So um, we're looking at clouds and and waves and, and um, this is fishing net. And I have like a lighthouse. So, you know, again, I don't want to go into everything, but I mean, there's shells um, there is like um, an anchor, there is a, uh, a boat uh, steering wheel, there's starfishes, there's bird in flies, there's seaweed. So this is what is in here. So I'm just going to leave you guys with that for now. Um, and what we're going to do next week is I am actually going to be um, cutting out a few die cuts in order to um, make a card. So, with that said, at least you get the start for what die cuts are. And they're again, they are very consistent. It's not something you just, um, you know, you cut it now and two minutes later it's a different shape. And let me show you this. You remember that big leaf? Let me take it out before I 
Kosa. So this was this big leaf I had here, right? This is the same thing, right? I got it from here. All I did was I used um, photo paper. I colored it the way I want to. And then I'm going to use it on a card. So this will give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So, whew, that was a mouthful. So um, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, I am going to be showing you... Um, um, create a card next week I'm going to combine the embossing and the die cuts so you can see the outcome so thank you so much for watching have an awesome week and I look forward to seeing you next Sunday for another tutorial for card making for beginners sorry 101 bye bye